Asia Society Policy Institute External Affairs Minister, Mr. Uh, Dr. Jay Shankar, has said, and I quote, that we have had a difficult history with China. Despite our clear agreements with China, we saw during COVID that China violated all of those agreements by sending a large number of troops to the line of actual control. It was likely that there would be an accident, and it did happen. There was a clash, a number of soldiers were killed on both sides, and this in a way affected the relationship between the two nations. When I said 75% of it has been resolved, it is only about disengagement, but some of the patrolling issues still need to be resolved, and the next step would be in that direction, focusing on de-escalation. We have a difficult history with China. Uh, a history which included a conflict in 1962. Despite these very explicit uh, agreements, uh, we, ha we saw that the Chinese, in, we were all in the middle of COVID at that time, if you remember, uh, moved large number of forces in violation of these agreements uh, to the line of actual control. And uh, this once troops, and we responded in kind, and once troops were deployed very close up, which is very dangerous. Uh, you know, it was likely a mishap would happen, and, a, and it did happen. Uh, so there was a clash, and uh, a number of troops died on either side. Uh, and that has since, uh, uh, in a sense, overshadowed uh, the relationship. So it, until we are able to restore peace and tranquility on the border and ensure that the agreements which uh, we have signed up to are adhered, uh, it's obviously difficult to carry on with the rest of the relationship. So what has been the focus for the last four years is to, in the first instance, at least disengage the troops. And when I said 75% of it has been sorted out, I was, you know, I was asked in a way to quantify it to give a sense. It's only of the disengagement. So uh, the, that's one part of the problem. Uh, and the main issue right now is the patrolling. There are, uh, there are other issues that we need to look at. I mean Very interesting there, a sharp retort there from the Ministry of External Affairs and the Foreign Minister on how China violated agreements. Let's go straight across now to uh, my colleague Siddhant for more on this. Siddhant, if you could just tell us a little bit more on Mr. Jay Shankar and how he launched this big attack on China, speaking of those uh, violations from the Chinese side. Well, uh, that's right. Uh, Mr. Jayashankar, in fact, uh, 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 spoke uh, the same. Uh, uh, he spoke the same way when he was in Germany, uh, addressing uh, a conference. And in fact, uh, right now he's in New York, and he again uh, reiterated India's official position, which is that there cannot be any talk on other bilateral issues unless the de disengagement and de-escalation uh, uh, problem is solved on the borders. And in fact, on the similar lines only, he spoke uh, in New York uh, at the Asia Society, at the Asia Society Policy Institute. But interestingly, Avantika, uh, mm -hmm. from last uh, maybe uh, one, one and a half months, we are seeing some kind of sign between uh, two countries, signaling between the two countries. Uh, you know, in fact, uh, we could look at a possibility of, uh, of, the, of, of, the, of the things which have been stalled because of the border issue could restart uh, soon. There has not been any official confirmation on that. But uh, would also like to draw your attention to the annual financial report, which has been published uh, this time, uh, 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 endorses uh, trade with China, perhaps talks about the good part of uh, trade with China. Um, uh, EAM was when in Germany and yesterday in New York also, he made it very clear that when I said 70% of it, it has yes. been sorted out only the disengagement. So 75% is the number has been given by EAM. Then Chinese side came up with the names of those four uh, places where disengagement has taken place. Uh, in fact, the new Chinese ambassador to India uh, uh, had uh, thrown a party yesterday in New Delhi. And in fact, uh, 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 the Secretary East, Gauranglal Das, uh, represented India from the Indian side. Uh, he was very much a part uh, guest at the party. And uh, in that, the ambassador uh, gave emphasis to India-China relationship and how Xi Jinping and Narendra Modi right. uh, laid the roadmap for, uh, to strengthen the ties between the two countries and, and you know, spoke good about uh, India. 
so from both end there is some sort of a signaling uh, uh, which is uh, going on uh, and in fact uh, nsa doval met uh, vanki uh, on the sidelines uh, uh, of nsa bricks uh, meet uh, right, em jet vanki twice uh, in his uh, in his uh, in modi 3.0 so and the border talks at the diplomatic level at the core commander level yes. is any which was going on so we could expect some sort of a normalcy not normalcy exactly but we could uh, uh, look at a possibility of uh, you know relations getting right. back to uh, at least that's the end of her and uh, the external affairs minister mr jay shankar also touching upon that while talking about india china border tensions so thank you so much for joining us we have to slip into a short break stay tuned i'll be back with lots more